Welcome back to My 100 Dresses, a 100 painting series of women in fabulous dresses based on the children's book, The 100 Dresses by Eleanor Estes, and this is painting number 14. This painting is all about abundance. Now, when I started creating, I had no idea what inspired me, and a lot of the time when you embark on becoming an artist or just in general when you start creating a lot of the time you don't know what inspires you it takes you actually having to get out the paints start putting it on the canvas and doing it over and over again before you start to learn about yourself what you're drawn to the ideas that are continuing to swirl in your head that kind of thing and so abundance is something that I've started to see as a theme in a lot of my work. And for this painting, I wanted to just focus on it. Instead of kind of dancing around it and focusing on other themes, I just wanted to dedicate a painting that's all about abundance, all about that feeling of there's more than enough here at the table, there's more than enough food, there's more than enough seats, there's more than enough for you to be here with us. And I think I got that theme from growing up and watching my mom who had this amazing superpower to create abundance with very little resources. So growing up, I'm one of seven kids and we were by no means in poverty, but we also had very little excess in pretty much any area in our life. We were the kids who were on the state funded lunches and I remember every year the school would collect donations and donate those school supplies to families in need and we were one of those families. So we didn't have a lot of excess, but my mom had this amazing ability to create a experience that was abundant. Whether that was food, even to this day, whenever I go home, she creates these meals and she sets the table like it is a Christmas dinner pretty much every time. And although some people may look at that and say, oh my gosh, that's so over the top, the reality is our family, when we sit down and we have a meal together, it's probably one of my favorite things that I can do on this earth. We have so much fun. She does this thing she calls food management, where essentially at the end of a week, she will throw everything in the fridge into a soup. And somehow it turns out amazing. Like you wouldn't think it would, but somehow it does. And that theme of abundance, I really think comes from her. She also heavily focused on the abundance in our relationships. So an example is one time I, in high school, I came down the stairs, I went to go catch the bus, and I just had a moment where I thought, I don't think anyone else is home. Like, where is everyone? I'm one of seven kids. There should be like a hundred people here. And suddenly my mom comes running through the door with all of my younger siblings and a massive bullfrog in hand. She had gotten everyone up, at least the younger kids who had a later bus ride, she had gotten everybody up and taken them frog catching at dawn before school simply so that they could have this childhood memory of catching frogs together. And that wasn't that uncommon. She created these amazing relational experiences for us all the time. She herself is an artist, and growing up, we would have this church day camp um, at our church, and she would create these floor-to-ceiling backdrops for literally every wall, pretty much, in the entire church. And she would draw these huge murals and then number them and bring kids and people in from the community, and they would paint by number. And then my mom and myself actually would go back around and we'd kind of fix things up. Um, but that's just kind of how she was. Instead of seeing it as we have a low budget, how are we going to decorate for this camp and make it fun? She thought of the idea of let's just get donated bed sheets, sew them together, and we're going to create these murals and we're going to create an experience for people in the community to come in and create to actually be a part of the arts. And so that concept is really how she raised us. And I think as a kid, when you have a parent that you look at who has such a faith in God that God is going to provide, that God is going to give you more than enough, and that when God tells you to be generous and that he will overflow your home um, when you are generous, he's not saying that he's just going to give you a lot of money, but 
he is saying that he's going to provide. And I experienced that firsthand. My siblings experienced that firsthand. And watching my mom continue to include others, continue to have this mentality of there's always enough room at our table for one more. That idea really translated into adulthood for me where I'm drawn to that idea of abundance. I'm drawn to that idea of there is always room at our table for one more. And I want to capture that in my artwork. I think having enough has a lot more to do with the people that you're around and choosing to make experiences magical, choosing to see the magic in the ordinary, choosing to see the luxury in your normal, everyday life. I think that's where you're going to find abundance. Instead of seeing it as, I don't have the nicest glassware or this champagne that I can afford is only $10, instead of seeing it like that, pour that glass of champagne into your normal glassware, Drop in a raspberry or a frozen strawberry and act like you're at a luxurious resort. It's that idea that luxury, abundance, that is going to be found in your experiences with the people around you. You can always add to, you know, the things that you experience over time, but you can't add to people. So when you think of abundance, when you look at this painting, remember there's always enough. There's always enough room for one more and there's always enough room for you. Thank you so much for joining. I will see you next week for painting number 15.